search is also intensifying right now for a missing two year old girl from Monroe who disappeared while camping with her family up north. Right now, police are scouring an area in Cummins Township in Oscoda County. That's in an area right along Reber Road near M33. They are looking for this little girl, Gabriella Vitale. Now, new video and photos from searchers were released overnight, and there's new information this morning about that massive search effort and the challenge the terrain is posing. 7 Action News reporter Jennifer Ann Wilson is live for us with more on this. Of course, the sun is coming up, Jen, which means the search is back on. Exactly right. And what a frightening and scary situation. We're coming up on 24 hours. The search parties did have to take a break around midnight, but now that the sun is up, the search is back on. Two year old Gabrielle Vitali lives in Monroe with her parents. They were just finishing up a family camping trip when police say Gabrielle wandered off while her parents were packing up gear. That was just before 8 a.m. on Monday morning. She hasn't been seen since. Uh, we know that people are dying to come help and uh, we understand that. But at this point, we're kind of asking people to stay out of the woods in the area because we have active dogs out there working. And of course, this, their scent could contaminate uh, uh, the, the area, making it more difficult for the, the canine officers. Canine teams and helicopters have been helping in the search since early Monday, but the terrain poses a really big challenge. The family had set up a private campsite in northern Michigan near the Huron Manistee National Forest. There were very few people lots of trees on all sides. But as you move away from it, there are areas that are wetland, uh, swamp and that sort of thing, some open fields as well. Multiple police agencies along with the DNR are working together following their only clue, a sign of hope. Yesterday afternoon, uh, there was a part of her clothing, her jacket was located uh, several hundred yards away from where she initially went missing, kind of to the, the southeast. It kind of at least gave us a direction of travel to, to focus on. Yeah, and as you heard, this terrain is really challenging, very dense woods. There are marshes and bodies of water, it, just very difficult to search when it is pitch black, dark outside. Now that the sun is back up, they'll have the dogs back out, the helicopter back up. They said many volunteers have been reporting to the command post to help as well. And they're asking for those of you here at home, just send your thoughts and prayers to the family.